Welcome back everyone, this is Greg with Threshold Media Productions and I'm going to be showing you how to use Hype inside of Joomla. Okay, here we are inside of Hype. This is the file that I pre-set up that we are going to put on our Joomla website. Okay, so to preview this, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, simple animation, nothing, nothing fancy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to, uh, to Hype and we're going to go to File, Export to Folder. Okay, Export. Uh, let's do the desktop to make it easy for us. And we're going to hit save. Okay. So now we have our files that we need. Okay. We have our resources folder. And then we have our HTML folder. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to go to our Joomla website. Okay. Now in Joomla, there are some extensions that we're able to, to pretty much install on our website. Okay. Um, there's components, modules, plugins, templates languages if you like um, but for what we're going to do to make it simple there is a extension um, for us is specifically is a plugin which is called sorcerer okay um, the website's right here if you want to take a look at it the link will be in the description as well um, but this will be the program that you would want to install on your Joomla website okay right here you'll see the compatibility of your Joomla site and in a second I'll show you which version well, to find out which version you're using um, on your Joomla website, okay? And, and how to uh, download this, um, you just click on download right here, okay? And then you click on the download link right here, okay? And then you go to your downloads folder, okay? We're just gonna put this on our desktop, okay? Double click it, and this right here is all the elements that are gonna be contained within that file to put on your Joomla website, okay? Now, in order to probably, properly, I'm sorry, install this on your Joomla website, you need to right-click and compress this folder, okay? And this folder we can go ahead and get rid of. We don't need it no longer. Now, let's go ahead and go to our Joomla website, okay? We need to log into the back-end version or the back-end of the website, okay? So, we'll go to uh, one that I'm, going to, that, that, that I'm going to use as an example, which is this right here. Okay, you put the name of the website and then you put forward slash and then administrator. Okay. And then you go ahead and enter your admin or your username. Okay, once you're logged into your Joomla website, in the upper right hand corner, you will see what version you're currently running on your Joomla website. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to go to extension, install, uninstall. Okay, this file that we've created, that we've downloaded and recompressed, this is where we want to install. So what you want to do is click on file, or choose file. Okay, locate that file that you've that you've compressed. Hit choose, and then hit upload and install. Okay, now once you do that <clears throat> and you've successfully installed the plugin, what you want to do is you want to go to extension, plugin manager. Because remember, the one that we installed was a plugin. Okay, um, depending on what you have in your list, I like to click on all to display. Now, what you want to do is you want to find, let's close this. To set up the plugin, it's really simple. All you pretty much have to do is copy what they have on their website, okay? And a quick way to find your plugin is you hit Command F, okay, to get find, and you type in Sorcerer, okay? Hit enter a couple of times. And you'll see that you have two files, okay? You have your system, which is here, 
okay and then you have your social plugin your editor button okay which you'll find here okay so you have your editor button and then you have your system okay and then just go into both of the both of those by clicking on it and then copy the settings that you see on their website on both of those okay now how to use this okay so what you want to do is you want to go to component explorer okay and then on the root file we want to upload the hype file okay so what we have is we have the upload button which are here okay so you want to click on upload you want to choose your file okay which first we need to compress the file sorry about that so click on there right click compress okay we have the archive and just for the sake of argument we're going to call this hype or Joomla hype okay so let's choose file Open the Joomla, Joomla hype, choose. Click save. Okay, and now you should have your folder. Here it is. Now we need to unarchive it. Okay, so there's a little button here that says archive and extract archive. Okay, so we'll click on the file and then click on extract uh, extract archive. I'm gonna ask you if you want to do it. Just click yes. Okay, session was successful. Now let's reload. All right, now we see that the file that we extracted is now here. Okay, so this is where we have our our hype file. Okay, so we're we're done with that part. We no longer need that. So we'll go back to Joomla. Okay, now remember with hype, there's a file that contains the HTML code that we need to copy. Okay, so a quick way to do that is we'll right click on it and we'll open with Safari because you know everyone has Safari using a Mac. And all you do is go to View and then View Source. Okay, and then what we want to do is copy this line of code. Okay, right click, copy, close this, and we can close this. Okay, and we want to go to the to the um, article in which you want to article or whatever or wherever you're trying to you know install your your hype file for me i created a page designated for this tutorial okay so we're going to click on hype with joomla i pre-set up okay and then you want to go into the um the edit code which is where you can type in your manual html coding okay and what i like to do is just hit a bunch of spaces and paste the code Okay. Now, in order for this plugin that we just installed earlier to work, they require you to pretty much kind of um, modify the code that we pasted inside of the the editor. Okay. And what they're saying is, what you need to do is at the beginning of the tag that we've copied, okay, which is here, we want to type in uh, open bracket source close bracket. Okay. And then at the end of the code here, we want to type in opening bracket, for slash, source, close bracket, okay? And what they're also saying is that for all the these little braces here, uh, I don't know the technical name for them, sorry. <laughs> uh, we want to replace those with um, these brackets here, okay? So for every bracket that you see like this, you want to replace it with a double bracket, depending on if it's open or closed, okay? So let's give it a try, okay? So at the beginning, we want to type in the open bracket, source, close bracket, okay? We want to delete this and replace it with two openings, okay? Let's just find the next one. Here, I'm going to delete that, replace that, click this one, replace that. The next one would be here, 
delete that. Replace that one. Okay. And then we also want to go ahead and type in this for slash source close. Okay. And then we'll hit update. Okay. So we'll hit apply. Okay. Now what we'll do is I'm going to go and make sure that the module for this page is actually live. So what we'll do is we'll go to our content manager. It's live. Okay. So let's test it out. And there it is, guys. That is how you upload your hype file with Juma. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll try my best to answer it. Appreciate it. Have a good one.